It's a crucial part in the Major League Lacrosse season with five games left and five teams sitting on a 5-4 and four record. The Boston Cannons are one of those teams, and I'm speaking with Boston Cannon midfielder Max Sewald. Max, last week you guys had an exciting game. You had the game winner. Walk us through that final quarter. Uh, the whole game was back and forth. Obviously, Florida's a, a very good team. They have a ton of talent, um, some some great young guys and some, some great older guys leading. Um, for us, we just kind of wanted to go out and play our game, as we always do. And uh, there were streaks where we played very well and streaks where we didn't. Um, but we dug in behind some good goal, goal pending and some, some solid defense and uh, so, some crucial face-off wins. We were able to get opportunities. And, you know, our, I think one of the be be best things we had going for us was our defense pushing transition and creating opportunities um, from the other end of the field. So it was uh, exciting going through that last quarter. It was obviously some ups, some downs, but I think most of the guys on our team were – confident that we were going to come away with the victory the whole time so that that was a nice feeling to have uh, within the huddle and on the sideline even even at certain points when we were down so it was good. Now Max there's also been some rookies that have been added to the Cannons roster how do you foresee them fitting into the team? Uh, I mean they, they play great I mean guys like Tucker who's you know an instant impact guy he's uh He's just a huge midfielder who can play both ends. He's got a, a great shot and extends defenses. You got a guy like Stanwick who could, you know, really kind of QB that offense and, and be a, you know, an initiator, but also primarily a, a feeder, which, you know, uh, he is excellent at. I got to feel that a little bit in practice uh, last week and then obviously on field. And uh, so having guys like that, you know, Having immediate impact within, you know, the organization and on field is uh, is exciting. You know, it's a nice little uh, shot of energy mid midpoint in the season to get those guys rolling with the rest of the crew, and hopefully each week they'll continue to build some chemistry with the rest of the, the group and and continue to to push towards the that playoffs. Oh, recently you were also down in Houston for the All Star Game. Talk about your experience down in Texas. It was awesome. It was hot, no doubt, um, but the fans were were great. The venue was awesome. I think they had about 10,000 plus fans there. So it's a really cool experience to, to get out there and uh, just engage with those fans who, who most of which said they've never actually seen a professional lacrosse game live uh, and they loved it. Um, and for us, it was, you know, an opportunity to play with obviously the best guys in the league in front of a, in front of a, a pretty cool fan base. So um, awesome opportunity um, to get to not only play with those guys on field, but spend the weekend with them, whether it was at the tournament, the, the youth tournaments that we all helped out at or clinics or appearances or just team dinners and that type of stuff. So it's kind of a treat to, to you know, take a break from it all in the middle of the season and, and spend some time with everyone else around the league. Now, Max, like I mentioned, you guys are five and four along with four other MLL teams. What needs to happen for Boston to move ahead and make the playoffs? Uh, just play a little bit more consistently. Uh, we've had some, some very – great wins and some pretty disappointing losses and um, you know we just need to find a little bit more consistency within each one of our own individual games and as a team um, you know you could I think up and down the roster uh, we've had some guys in and out of the lineup we've had you know guys who have been in the lineup consistently but playing great some games poorly some others and I think it's just a matter of maybe some of the the older guys kind of taking some more ownership and, and leadership and you know leading the right way and, and kind of carrying along those younger guys who are just starting into the mix and showing them what, what it's all about. And, you know, this is the best part of the year. It's kind of you're still competing for something and, you know, being one of the, the middle of the pack right now all tied with that 5-4 and four record just makes it exciting. It makes every every play, every goal, uh, every, every minute within each one of these games count. So, uh, you know, we're really excited uh, as an organization to – to get going again this weekend uh, and Sunday and then to hopefully keep it rolling. Um, you know, we've got a couple of teams we haven't seen yet and, and some that we have, but one game at a time. And we're, we're, uh, we're excited to, to see, uh, you know, how we could continue to improve week in and week out. Thanks, Max. That's Boston Cannon midfielder Max Sewald. Tune in to ESPN3 Sunday at 4 p.m. to see the Boston Cannons take on the Chesapeake Bayhawks.